Hello guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I'm going to install extended OS on my Redmi Note 8. So currently I am using Arrow OS and this is an amazing ROM. But there is one big issue with this ROM is that um, which I found after my review. So I have uploaded the review of this ROM but uh, I got it after review actually. So when I, were, I was using this uh, ROM, uh, there was a problem like um, every two or three days uh, it got freezes and reboot itself so that is one problem only i found with this rom rather than that it's completely okay and it's working fine and it has very good battery backup and there is no heating issue at all because i have been using this rom for one week and i'm using internet not wi-fi so i put my sim card and using my internet from this rom and it's awesome actually so today i will be trying standard os because this rom is too bare bone there is no customization at all so we will uh, i heard that extended os has some kind of customization so today i will flash that so i have already downloaded the rom it is about 1.6 gigabyte i think and uh, i'm not going to show you that uh, how you can install this rom because it's quite um easy process as all the roms are same way you have to flash and you can follow any of the video of installing the rom so as you can see evolution os jinko is i think it's uh, 6.7 let me check which version i'm use uh, which version i'm going to buy it is the latest version of it so first of all um, i will just reboot to the twrp restart came okay, volume on button So we are in TWRP now. So if you are flashing this ROM for first time or if you are flashing on top of your MIUI ROM, please flash the latest firmware file. Otherwise, uh, you may break your device. So uh, the link of the firmware file also I'll be giving in the description box. So first of all, uh, I will wipe the data and everything because I really suggest to you guys if you are flashing this ROM, uh, do a format and clean the internal storage uh, otherwise you will be encrypted so we will clean the data after cleaning the data um, I will just format the ROM and other things so we did it so our then we just system vendor data and internal storage everything will clean uh, also make sure that back of you all of the data just you need in case um, so now we will flash first of all as i said although i'm i said i will not show but let uh, today i'm showing what you have to do first of all we will flash our uh, firmware file although i don't need to flash because this rom is uh, running on android 12 so the, the previous rom is was running on android 12 so i no need to flash the firmware file but still i have flashed the firmware file for safety now we will flash our custom rom yes yes so as you can see evolution x it's running on android 12 and build version and other things you can see so the device is jinko so it's only for jinko not for uh, another is willow i think so don't flash it on it so it's only for jinko i think also you can try it on willow maybe nfc will not work but other things will work pro properly so now the flashing is going on i think it will take only uh, a minute or two so let's wait So after flashing this ROM, I will install Magix 2 because as I said, I always take backup of all of my apps and apps data with Swift backup. So it's a quite good uh, app. So if you didn't use that, you can check my video. I have talked about this app, I think. So you can use that app. Just uh, you can copy your all the apps and apps data and reinstall it to your new ROM. So it's quite easy because you don't need to log into every apps facebook and instagram and everything but you do need to uh, log into your gmail because gmail will not be uh, backed up so just that one you have to do other things will be backed up so as you can see our and rom is nearly to finish the installation so let's wait so it took i think nearly two minutes 
are more than that a little bit more than that so our installation is done now we will flash our magic stall never mind so magic 24.1 zip so you can download the latest one also you can flash it so i didn't download the latest one i will just uh, update it from the app so as for now it's already done catching good image and so it's done now so we will reboot our system so in the first boot it, it may take a little bit time because to process everything so first time or also it may fail if it didn't flash properly so i got many roms that it after flashing it properly it didn't boot up but as for now this rom is booting up now so let's see what we will get with this rom so i will give you a quick glimpse of this rom uh, but the full review you have to wait for three or four days i will uh, test it then i will give a full review of it so as for now we will give you a quick review of it so our rom is booting up and the uh, the animation is quite good actually so, so our ROM is booted up so let's finish the startup process or setup process or whatever um, I'm not going to use any kind of Wi-Fi the sim is there yeah so I use my mobile setup continue so I'm using my mobile data right now actually uh, what what I found out is that installing RAM is uh, take less time than setting up this kind of thing uh, it's the, the installation process is actually uh, a bit quicker than these things so it takes time actually a lot maybe five or ten minutes sometime so let's see how long it takes so i will not copy anything right now so just i will back up uh, i will restore from my backup check info maybe i need to log into my account yes finish i will do it later on because it will take time no need i don't use location except skip for right now so I am skipping these things because it will take time so so that we can make it a little bit faster or to make the video a bit short. So skip and now swipe up. So we are in the ROM now. Hopefully we can see. Let's focus a little bit. Okay. So as for now, uh, the magic screen is here and also we are getting a MIUI camera. Let's see if MIUI camera is working properly or not. So open it. So now. Okay, camera is working. So I'll take a photo. Yes. And let's go to the video. Yeah, video also. Yeah, it does work. So let's go photo and check our front camera yeah front camera is also working so the camera app is working uh, with this rom we are not getting a lot of thing but we are getting one thing called paper from the i think this is customization everything is there i don't know 
so we are getting magisk because i have installed the magisk and let's go to setting and check our android version and everything so with me note 8 and android version is 12 and it's the 6.5 version as you can see omega and this is an unofficial rom and we are running on security page level is june 5 2022 and everything is there as for now this rom is working fine and let's see uh xiaomi parts is also there so that's mean you can uh, calibrate your display setting a little bit so i keep my one is 230 230 and 230 uh to not to get skin burning issue as for the rom is quite good actually it's not that struggling or anything like that so let's see what we are getting so as you can see here yeah, we are getting a lot of customization but as as i'm not doing review so in the review i will show you what we are getting here and the bluetooth and wi-fi let's see wi-fi is working or not it's scanning yes it's scanning so setting so it's getting all the wi-fi network as you can see here and the bluetooth let's see the bluetooth it's working or not here to new device yes it can scan and everything so these all things are working so this is the quick review of this round maybe in future i will do a um in-depth review of this from about battery backup and about call quality and other things so that's it for today thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the